East side, west side, downtown. The location didn't seem to matter. Yep, yet again, dozens of dirt bikes and ATV riders careen down Cleveland streets and sidewalks. This latest episode comes as the city appears to be rebooting the idea of a dirt bike track. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg joins us now with more of what is going on. Well, it's been going on for years now. Large packs of stunt performing dirt bike and ATV riders have been the proverbial thorn in the city side for years. What happened Sunday is no exception. This time, riders say this display had a broader and bigger goal. On streets and sidewalks, they flew by in a blur. Turning the city's back roads into drag strips. Some would describe the scene as thoughtless, but D'Angelo Cunningham contends it is actually thoughtful. It might look reckless and it might look like we just out here no care in the law, but what we're really doing is bringing sides of the city that have never touched or never come in contact with anyone. So we're bringing everyone together, and it's a, you know, wheels up, guns down. That's the whole point of the movement. The so-called wheels up, guns down movement sent dozens of dirt bike and ATV riders up and down the city's narrow streets on Sunday. At least one of them was injured after being hit by the driver of a pickup truck, and a police cruiser was reportedly kicked by a rider. According to Cleveland police records through August 2nd, the police department had fielded more than 500 calls related to dirt bikes this year. That doesn't include Sunday's display, which amounted to 44 emergency calls. Those complaints spanned every corner of the city. We all come together and we squash all the beasts, so that's what the whole part about the movement. I can go in over on the side of Buckeye or whatever it may be and have no problems over there. With if it was being me on any other day, I would never go over there. The city has long struggled with corralling large groups of dirt bike riders. After previously shelving a proposal in 2017, it appears Mayor Frank Jackson's administration is taking another look at a possible dirt bike track. The city issued this request for proposals in June and July, looking for a consultant that would possibly identify a site for the project, as well as come up with programming and operations. Cunningham says a city track would be a start because the movement to put the guns down isn't close to being finished. When it comes to the bikes, we all pit all the differences aside and come together and we ride together. And late this afternoon, police said the driver of the pickup truck involved in the accident was actually tracked down and assaulted by some of the dirt bike riders. And as for the damaged police car, police say that supervisor was also assaulted while trying to make an arrest.